So, we've been uh, wintering in Little Bathy on Megan UC uh, alongside this uh, beautiful uh, pallet cutter next to us, which is a replica from 2012 of a St. Marlowe uh, French design. This is the replacement for our anchor light, which fell off. And I think that in actual fact, this piece is still attached at the top of the mast, which is what I'm hoping, because that will save me a lot of aggro, if that's the case. Uh, but we've got to go up the mast. So I have released the topping lift, which is this wire here. I've hauled this static line up to the top of the mast, secured. I fastened my climbing harness to it. And then this is the spare um, spinnaker halyard. But this one, as you can see, goes up the front of the mast. So what I'm gonna have to do is, at each of the spreaders, I'm gonna have to unclip this, move it, and then clip it back on again. So, but I, I don't trust just having a single rope and at least when I'm on the spreader I can let the spreader take a little bit of my weight while I move it. So that's the plan. So hopefully that gives me two points of suspension. So Sveta's going to give me a hand by holding this one up as I move myself up with the, uh, the climbers. So we shall hopefully be able to replace this today. So uh, it's a uh, cloudy day, it's going to um, be a storm this afternoon, uh, we'll just uh, go like get into the washing, but we're like, climbing the mast today, so this time <laughs> we're using the chair for the first time, so I'm going to have to <laughs> got to have to assist no. obviously if I've done that right <laughs> then uh, this is the additional hazard if you fall down <laughs> you you'll break the bucket as well You're a hazard to the bucket. Yeah. Yeah. Can you pass me that, please? Pass you what? Pass there. Oh, there we go. Oh. It's the NEC Bathy quarters full, I think. A couple of boats left, but. Uh, it gets uh, filled very quickly. Yeah. You can squeeze one small boat between uh, Ellie Gray and that Bavaria. This is about it. I don't know. The boat coming in. That's going to be interesting, girls, isn't it? Okay, so what I've done is I've used the old base because I've got these three pins here which uh, plug into the mast um, as the base for the new anchor light. So I've not got to make any new fittings at the top. Um, there is a zero here which I've lined up with the front. Okay, and that zero there in the pins are at the front so that is the front and um, what I've done is 
I took some footage when we were up the mast so I could see uh, the placement of these three pins and also the colour codes. So I've now got a situation where I know, for example, that this one here goes through to here. So that must be the anchor one. And that must be the positive. This one here has got two. It goes here and here. So that's got to be the negative. So that's the middle one. And then uh, the final one here goes to the um, the bulb here. So um, looking at this, okay, I've got my tricolour at the top. I've got my anchor at the bottom. And um, I've now wired these pins in. And I've uh, tested the continuity. Put the pin on there. And then touch this one. And that is showing a connection. And the pin on there, and touch this one. That is also showing a connection. So I know that I've got connectivity through. So as long as I've interpreted those, wi those wires correctly, and got them the right way around, and I get this thing up the mast, then it should be wired correctly. I'm just going to clean this pin off, because it's got a little bit of... Um, corrosion on it and that should be ready to go up the mast and uh, yeah so I've sealed it here this is um, basically sealant and adhesive uh, just to make sure that there's no moisture going to get in there and it's screwed in um, I've had to use three screws in peculiar places because of where the wiring is and, and what have you um, so that that should be nice and solid now, so it should be going nowhere. Um, so yeah, uh, it's taken a bit of doing, but uh, we're ready to go back up. And uh, yeah, so I'm just going to let this uh, sticker flex set overnight, and then go up tomorrow morning, I think. So, so we've got we're well prepared. <laughs> And uh, we've got uh, speakers now, so he can swear at me without um, straining his lungs. <laughs> without uh, working up the rest of that thing. Yeah. <laughs> Last time, um. someone, someone came from the other side of the island. <laughs> after, after he was screaming from the top of the mast. Well, attempt number two. Right, so this halyard here, okay, is my safety halyard. So the clutch needs to stay closed, okay? And it needs to be, stop looking at the cat. It needs to be. It's the Yevrik, my Yevrik. This is a safety briefing. Is it? It means pay attention. Oh, yeah. All right, okay. So, you need to keep this tight. I don't want to be able to do this and pull. <laughs> Brown trousers. Brown knickers, brown pants. So, a new tactic now. I don't know if it's going to work or not, but... It will. We'll see. Right, so. so. Oh, gloves. Can you see if you can get me a pair of gloves, please? Which ones? Any that'll fit me. <sighs> I thought he was ready. He was nagging me. <sighs> now. Um, Got to go for go for this, go for that. Gloves, knickers, socks. Do you think it'll be easier for you if I sort of 
pull you up a little bit. So we try. You want me to take off the slack again? Yeah. Right, I've got the the thing. screwdriver I put the screwdriver in my pocket to make it easier to get access to it attention so what I would like to do is go downstairs and turn on the anchor light please okay turn it off Right, can you now turn on the navigation lights? Try that. Turn, turn running lights on then. No, there's nothing there. Turn the anchor on. Right, the anchor light is definitely working. The running lights are not. Did. Aha! So, was that, was that deck? <sighs> Anchor light is on and the running lights are on but it shouldn't be deck light Anchor light is on. Nothing. Nothing. Right, that's turned on. Yeah, turn the anchor light off. Still got the navigation lights. So what? So navigation says deck.
That's gone off. That's anchor light on. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Right. It's got one screw that doesn't look. It's stupid. Now, I've got this screw to fix. Okay. Right. I am starting my descent. Okay. So I'm going to start with my feet. Okay. Uh, let some slack off the halyard, please. Yeah, do the clutch and then the winch. Good. Yeah. Slow. 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 Okay, down. That's enough. I'm undoing the safety line. Let's have a look at this deck light. So, could you turn the deck light on? On. Lock it off. On the clutch. Okay. Yeah, turn the deck light on. Yeah. yeah. Right. Okay, so we've got some crossed wires because that's on. Which means our nav light's on and this is on. No. I don't I don't think it's at the panel, but I don't know where it, else it could be other than uh, at the base of the mast because there's no way this wire should join so I don't, I don't know what the hell's going on there right turn on the running lights please yeah running lights on and steaming lights yeah yeah Turn them back off. Right, okay, turn it off. Okay, that'll do. Right. So, for some obscure reason, it's changed. Yeah. 
No, it can't be up there. It's just not possible for it to be up there. Down. No, I'm coming down now. Coming down. I suspect that this is why we've got a problem with the um, wiring. <laughs> Look at it. It's just, oh my God, <laughs> where to start? Really, where to start? So, so this one. Uh, you think it was wired wrongly originally? I think it's wired wrongly, yeah. Well, we haven't used it, have we? So, okay. this looks like this is the wind indicator. We, had, we, we used it, and we had running lights as navigation lights. I remember. I don't know what this is. It's a coax. I suspect that that might actually be the aerial for the radio. Ah, we've got these that go to this bar here, which uh, again looks a bit suspect. Uh, and I suspect that that's the reason why we've got our miswiring, because that goes up into the mast so yeah so we've got to sort this lot out we've got a mousing cable there god knows where that goes <sighs> so what's happening right so this coax here goes back to the radio this is the one that goes up the mast and apart from everything being all twisted it's not very well connected is it that's why we had trouble with the radio I think. well this is the main radio not the handheld the main yeah vhf yeah main vhf radio Okay, so I've tidied it up a little bit, and uh, this is the the bar with all the wires on. And for some reason, the nav light was wired into the deck light, so they were doubled up on the deck light. Uh, which is uh, this is the nav light, and this is the deck light. So what I've done is I've pl now put it into the right one. Okay. Um, this yellow one here is the running light on the mast, the white running light on the mast for when you're under motor. Uh, and that was wired in incorrectly on the panel, so somebody's obviously um, put that in as an after um, wiring job for some reason, don't know why. Um, so I've wired that onto the panel correctly. Uh, so now if I move to the panel and do these so you've got anchor light which is fine steaming lights at the moment the bicolor at the front isn't working so I need to work out what's going on with that and then you've got your deck light which works and you've got your running lights which appear to work but I'm going to have to check it at night so we can see what the tricolor is doing at the top of the mast and then if I lower this then get the USBs out of the way basically this yellow wire here is the one that's going to the um, steaming light on the mast um, those are the, the grey and whites are going to the steaming lights the Grey is the deck light, the green is the navigation lights, and for some reason the green wire was on steaming and the grey wires were on navigation, which uh, was obviously wrong as there are no grey wire no grey and white wires going to the mast at all. Uh, and it does appear to now work, so what we're gonna do is try it and then I will trace that other wire for the bicolor at the front 
and I think that it's going to be probably in the V-berth. I'm guessing there's a join in the V-berth somewhere. Um, that I'll need to trash through. Um, now it has worked, so um, I know that we've had those on before. Um, but I always thought it was peculiar that they, they came on on uh, nav rather than on um, steaming. So hopefully, having sorted that, that should be another conundrum. But as I say, won't know until it gets dark and we can check it properly. But I know the anchor light works, um, so it's really down to the running lights. And uh, yeah, so we'll try it.